What's up guys, X-Dragon here, bringing you some team deathmatch here on Dome with the PM9, and I get to say, finally, that school has returned. I'm actually happy that it's returned because now I have something to do during the day, but uh, yeah, seeing as we're back in school, or at least I am, you know, many people aren't, you know, I figured maybe I should give a lesson. And, you know, this gun here, this PM9, seems like the perfect weapon to do it on. So, let's go ahead and get started. So the PM9, back in the beginnings of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, it seemed like a great gun. It had fast firing rate, it had some good ammo, a little weak, but the main problem with it was the recoil. No one would use it aiming down sights. Everybody would be hip firing it, using steady aim and sleight of hand, and it was just a good hip firing weapon. It was never really a good tactical weapon as it is now. So, what has changed since then? Well, since I've been using this gun and I feel like I have a golden perspective on it now, I do feel that after the patch that Infinity Ward brought to us that fixed plenty of guns, I figure the PM9 has now been fixed and made a new weapon in its own way. So now the PM9 is a very, it, I can't say very low recoil weapon, it's a moderate recoil weapon. It still fires at an amazing fire rate. I believe it's over 1000. So yeah, fairly fast. And I've been using this gun quite a bit, even after the M16, which of course I made a video on that as well. But you see, the PM9 here, you know, I've just been starting to use it and I've been enjoying it, especially since now it's actually viable to use while aiming down sight. So if I would have to say that I would recommend this weapon to anybody, I would say that you should definitely put kick on it because it still does kick quite a bit. But take a look at your attachments. I really don't like the red dot attachment the red dot sight for this weapon although others can argue that the iron sights are very bulky and it just gets in your way but you know I just prefer them so while many others are gonna pick a red dot sight or maybe maybe those special people will pick the hybrid sight but I would never touch that thing but I would recommend a either a silencer or go with a combination go with silencer extended mags I have here it's a great gun now, it's definitely a lot better since it's been patched, and I'm happy that they did. You know, this is probably my favorite gun now of Modern Warfare 3, I can't say ever in Call of Duty, but it's definitely a better gun now than what was po or pre-patch. Post-patch, it's amazing, I love it, I'm going to continue using it even though I already have it gold. Yes, I have a gold, but there's going to be like, oh, I got a gold before the patch. Well, you know what? Have this. Yeah, a Moab. So, yeah. It does show that I'm semi-decent with the weapon, that I can get a Moab. But, uh, hold on one sec. Ah, the sweet sound of a great Moab. I love this weapon, and if I had to recommend it, I would say use kick, use a silencer, use extended mags, but definitely get used to the weapon first. It's not something you're going to pick up and instantly be good at. Still need some practice, and you know, you'll get good with the weapon. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's commentary, and I hope you will tune in for another one here in the future. So, if you have enjoyed this commentary, make sure to leave a like, maybe comment, and if you're new here, how about you subscribe, you know, click the button above, and uh, I'd be very grateful for that. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace!